Goedenavond iedereen. Uh, een mooie opkomst. Ik zie een uh, bijna volle zaal. Ik weet iets wat jullie nog niet weten, namelijk dat jullie groot gelijk hebben. Ik heb de film vorige week gezien in mijn woonplaats Rome. Ik ben heel blij hier vanavond te, zien, te zijn. Hartelijk uh, welkom op het filmfest Gent. Mijn naam is Ine Rooks. Wij zijn hier vanavond voor de film Io Capitano, een uh, erg aangrijpende mooie prent van uh, de Romeinse regisseur, mijn stadsgenoot, uh, sinds een paar jaar. Uh, want ik ben correspondent in uh, Italië, uh, journalist. En uh, Matteo Garrone is een uh, regisseur die jullie uh, bekend in de oren moet klinken. Van Dogman, van Gomorra, vele jaren geleden. Uh, de ongelooflijke uh, documentaire-achtige prent over de Napolitaanse misdaadorganisatie uh, Camorra. Naar het boek van Roberto Saviano. Matteo Garrone is uh, vanavond bij ons in uh, Gent. En ik zou hem even naar voren willen halen. Matteo Garrone, per favore, può. Uh, venire da me un attimo. Benvenuto. Grazie. Fa freddo, no? No. <laughs> Hij vindt het niet koud in Gent. Nou, ik ben uh, nou vanmorgen ingevlogen per me, fa ancora un po' freddo. Mm. Het is nog een beetje uh, koud. We will speak tonight after the movie. Uh, we will do it in English. We also have the producer here. We also have a very special young gentleman here uh, who, uh, whose uh, life story was also part of the movie. Uh, Matteo Garrone, uh, how is it for you to be in Belgium? Belgium is important in your movie, I, I now guess, because of uh, this life story. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm happy that, uh, 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 that you will see the movie tonight uh, in a uh, uh, theater so beautiful in a big screen it's it's the story of a journey uh, you will see uh, an epic journey um, and we tried to tell the story of this journey of this odyssey from uh, the point of view of uh, the african we used to see the image always always from our point of view so we used we are used to see the boat arriving sometimes people uh, alive sometimes dead and we don't know very well about what happened what happened before don't so, tell them everything <laughs> no no worry no worry i'm not i'm only saying that to you they will live the experience of make the journey from the other point of view. A small second question, Matteo Garone, before we, uh, we, we, we don't want to give away too much because we want them to stay for the interview after. We want them to sit it out and listen to us and also think uh, during the movie about their own questions, right? Uh, so we can have a small interaction with the audience. So think about questions during the movie. Um, what I thought when I saw the movie last week in Rome is um, we try uh, in journalism we try in making a movie about migration, we try to put a face to the numbers, a face to the numbers. These people get a face, they are human beings, not numbers. Is that also what your point was in making the movie? Oui, oui, that's all, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy, je suis très heureux. Je, je vais essayer de parler en ça français. Va, va. Uh, oh no, English. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> uh, uh, Anything you I'm, want. <laughs> I'm very, very, very happy tonight because this story is based from a true story of people that really lived this experience, mm -hmm. this journey, uh, this odyssey. And uh, the Io Capitano is the mix of three story of three person that are uh, have done this uh, this journey and tonight for the first time i met one of the three boy that lives in belgium so i i always uh, write his story uh, watching him on video on skype because he can't he can't move um out from belgium so he couldn't come in venice mm. and finally uh, today i meet him and after i will introduce to you and is uh, is uh, is the the last part of the movie is based on his story and is here and i'm happy that we can uh, share 
together after the now we're going to really conference. let them enjoy the movie of because course. if not we're going to give away too much uh, too many things uh, i'm going to address them in dutch to say something else about the film festival and we meet each other uh, after your beautiful movie thank you very much thank mateo garone give him an applause already <laughs> louder <laughs> that's the mensen Vanavond is, uh, zijn wij ook uh, aan het feest vieren, want dit is de vijftigste editie van Filmfest Gent. Dus uh, als de film begint, gaan we niet meteen naar uh, het verhaal uh, van, uh, van twee jongens die inderdaad vertrekken uit Afrika. Uh, maar wij gaan nog eerst naar een hommage kijken, een, een, een kort film. Uh, het Filmfest Gent heeft uh, kunstenaars, componisten, regisseurs aan het werk gezet. Dus jullie krijgen eerst nog een extra cadeau, een kort film, en dan uh, wens ik jullie daarna veel uh, kijkplezier met Io Capitano. We zien elkaar graag na de film. Goedenavond opnieuw. Uh, dank om uh, te zijn gebleven voor het nagesprek. Ik vraag dan even onze gasten, uh, ten eerste Matteo Garone, om te komen. Geef hem een applaus uh, als jullie willen, alsjeblieft. Dan vraag ik ook uh, Amara Fofana. Uh, Fofana of uh, Fo, zegt hij, dat ze hem in Italië noemen. We gaan pas de micro, ik denk. We moeten de the microfoon geven. We hebben ook uh, de producer van de, deze mooie film bij ons, dat is Joseph Rouskop. We're going to do this uh, both in French and in uh, English. Donc, on va uh, changer de français à l'anglais. Je vais faire des questions le plus, les plus brièves possible. I'm going to ask a short stories, short questions uh, to listen to our guests. Uh, I'd like to uh, start with uh, Amara. My first question is, if you don't mind, my first question is for Amara. Um, How does it feel to see you? Uh, comment, comment tu te sens quand tu vois une partie de ta vie dans ce film? How does it feel to see part of your life story in this movie? Alors, c'est... C'est très difficile d'ajouter quelque chose, avoir regardé quelque chose que tu as déjà vécu et que tu as traversé et tu le vois encore le même image. C'est comme tu viens de la traverser immédiatement, ça touche beaucoup. Spiega che parte della sua vita, perché il pubblico non sa che lui ha abitato là bene. So, uh, Matteo, maybe you can uh, immediately interpret what he just uh, said, why this is so uh, important to him to see part of his life story. Can you explain to us? Um, no, I was saying that uh, the audience probably don't know that Fofana inspired the the last part of the story uh, he when he was 15 he he, he drove he, he drove a boat without know how to draw a boat and save the life of 250 immigrants uh, bringing them without uh, uh, without that no one died in the boat and and he arrived in Italy tu as compris, c'est pour toi ça. Is the Io Capitano is uh, is him. <laughs> yeah. So this is why it's uh, it was uh, it's it's emotional. Et c'est c'est intéressant pour toi de te voir hein, de voir la dernière partie du film. Mais Matteo Garone. Um, After uh, Gomorra, after uh, Dogman, uh, this is a topic that I read in the uh, Italian press. Not everybody would associate with you. This story, how did it come to you? Why? Why? Mm. Uh, see, I will answer. Do you? I just want to, to say something 
about Fofana. When he arrived, when he made this uh, hero action, he's uh, saving the life of all these people. Uh, then uh, the Guardia Costiera, the Italian police, arrived and put him in jail for six months for this. So uh, we didn't, uh, we finished the movie just before. Of course, it would be the, the story of a new odyssey in our country, but I'm not sure that I'm going to do it, but maybe someone else. So, but he went in jail for six months and then when he came out, he was explained to me that he didn't know where to go. He was 16, no, nothing in, uh, in the pocket, no money, and he, he, he didn't know what to do. And then he arrived in this uh, center for a migrant where after, after many years, I, 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 I found this, the story of him. He was already went away from this center, but uh, I think he uh, wanted to tell how, up, what happened after the story. Mm -hmm. um, about the idea, how it starts, it starts from uh, the desire to tell to you this part of a journey that nobody knows. And trying, we tried, as I said before, we tried to give to you uh, an, the possibility to live this journey with the eyes of Sedu, the main character, trying to give the possibility to to have an experience. Uh, it's it's a sort of uh, uh, reverse shot. I used to say this this word because uh, it's the reverse shot of the what we used to see on our point of view. It's the reverse shot. And uh, as I said before, the, the story are all based on true story. And we wanted to be faithful to their story. We wanted to give the voice to them that usually don't have voice. And we tried to, to give the voice to them. I've been an intermediator. I, I, I tried to, to give to them, I, I tried to put at your, the service of their story, my, my vision, my experience, but we made this journey, we made this adventure together. And the first audience of this movie were them. I, I made the movie with people, all, all the people that you see in the screen, especially during the journey, on the back are people that really made this odyssey for real. And they were in front of the monitor, they were in front of the camera, they were around me, they were always uh, ready to, to, to give me some suggest to create this journey, believable, true, and, uh, and that was our um, goal, you know, to make a story true, honest, simple sometimes, for the respect of the people that made this journey and for the respect of the people that died on this journey. Uh, 27,000 people died in 15 years mm -hmm. to make this journey. I want to ask a question. Uh, je voudrais poser une question uh, au uh, producteur, to the producer. What made you, uh, Joseph Rusko, believe in, uh, in this project? Why? Uh, invest in it and can you maybe tell a broad audience what is your role with the movie what not everybody knows exactly what a producer does oui be, <coughs> bonsoir mais peut-être préciser d'abord que je, je suis le co-producteur du okay. film <laughs> Matteo a aujourd'hui la, la possibilité de produire lui-même ses propres films donc c'est sa société qui est productrice du film je suis co-producteur en Belgique euh, alors, ben, moi, le projet m'est arrivé euh, en, sous, la, sous la forme d'un scénario et, et, et d'images déjà. Euh, et tout de suite, moi, j'étais emballé par, ben, un petit peu par ce que Mathieu vient de dire, par le fait que la proposition, ben, c'est celle que vous avez vue, elle était déjà extrêmement lisible. C'était de, de nous emmener, nous, euh, public, occidental, européen, 
à l'intérieur vraiment du point de vue euh, de, de ces jeunes qui font ce, ce trajet invraisemblable, ce trajet complètement fou, extrêmement violent. Mais ils nous emmenaient vraiment dans leur point de vue, en empathie avec eux. Alors évidemment, quand c'est écrit, bah, il, faut, il faut y croire, il faut se dire, mais oui, ça va devenir ça à l'écran, ça va fonctionner, ça va emmener un public, pas seulement un public, euh, disons, art house, disons, euh, art et essai. Voilà, j'ai eu la chance de faire d'autres films qui parlaient de cette thématique-là, mais peut-être de manière plus pointue, et, et comme l'a dit Mathéo, peut-être plus dans un point de vue, notre point de vue à nous, notre regard jusque-là sur, euh, sur euh, ces phénomènes de migration. Et là, la, la puissance absolue du projet, c'était de nous installer à l'intérieur du vécu de ces jeunes-là. Et sans non plus les, les, les victimiser de quelque façon que ce soit. Juste en disant pourquoi eux, jeunes, avec des projets, avec des rêves, avec des euh, envies, avec le, les envies de, 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 de vivre, de gagner de l'argent, de découvrir le monde, euh, pourquoi est-ce que eux ne peuvent pas le faire, n'y ont pas accès Ça leur est même carrément interdit. Hein, les obstacles sont tellement fous que, que ça leur est interdit. Pourquoi, pourquoi pourquoi nos jeunes à nous, euh, enfants d'occidentaux, ont eux le droit de parcourir le monde sans aucun problème Et pourquoi pas ces jeunes-là et, et cette proposition-là, elle était extrêmement lisible dès le départ. Et c'est ça qui m'a emmené. Je voudrais que Matteo Garone peut-être réagir à ça. Et puis, c'est en fait ce que Joseph a expliqué ce que Joseph a expliqué c'est que nous, parfois, dans l'Ouest, avons le sentiment que nous sommes tous big victims, it's always war and poverty, you say, it's not always the case. Yeah, we, we decided to, to give to the audience also the uh, possibility to, to discover that uh, there are also migrants that uh, don't uh, escape only from war or from uh, disaster, but they are young, like he said, and they want to discover the world and have better opportunity. The globalization is arrived uh, in Africa strong like us. They have uh, always a window open to our world from the social. And this, the world that where we live make a lot of promise to them because it's, it looks very rich from, from the other side of the, of the sea. Uh, they don't see what there is behind. And so it's... Uh, It's uh, understandable, it's human that they want to, to come. Like us, when we wanted to, I, I mean, I wanted to discover uh, the United States, or I don't know, when I was young, or my son want to, to travel, and it's normal. But um, I want to, to give also some information about the actors, because I think the movie, the power of the movie is in the interpretation of the act, actor more than the information. Because the information, more or less, we all know that people die on the Mediterranean or on the desert or they've been tortured in Libya. But uh, what makes the, the movie for me uh, strong is the fact that these actors, especially Sedou, is uh, so uh, pure in his interpretation, so intense, that make the audience uh, live the journey with him and make the emotion with him. So I think it, I've been very lucky to found actors like this, to found Sedou. I found Sedou in a, a small town close to Dakar. The mother and the sister were actress, so he loved acting, but he loved also to play soccer. He wanted to become a player of soccer, he said, so not an actor. <laughs> so, uh, but he said that if there is another opportunity for making another movie, he will do. But his dream is to become a He's very player. talented, eh? Yes, yeah. a player of soccer. And Mustafa, the other one, is uh, he was making a, a school of theater. So also he wanted to become an actor in Dakar. And both of them, They never uh, uh, went uh, abroad. They never left Senegal when I met them. So they dream like many young uh, people. Uh, they dream 
about Europe, Mustafa dream about United States. And so they make the journey of the character in, in parallel, you know, because I never gave to them the script. They didn't know if they succeed or not on this journey. They didn't know. So they made, I'd, I'd shoot on chronologic, so from scene one to the end. So day by day, they try to, um, uh, to, to don't die, beyond, yes. don't die on the journey, <laughs> with uh, uh, hoping finally to arrive in Europe. Also them, the person, not only the character. And that was the, the way where we work. So we, we, every morning there was a person that was an, um, a person that made the traduction between uh, Wolof and that was in Wolof tell the scene. Mm. Not because we wrote the script in Italian, we translate in French and from French, she was telling to them oral in oral way, the Wolof and it, she tell like a story day by day. And that was our, for me it was really strange because I never direct a movie in a language that I didn't understand. So for months I didn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> so it was really strange. Uh, I trust, I trust them. <laughs> I, I hope that they were saying something that we wrote. But uh, uh, it's a movie where we trust. I trust them, yeah. they trust me, yeah. we trust each other and we made this movie together. I want to go quickly to Fofana and then uh, immediately back to you. Um, Fofana, for you, uh, you have said, because I know that it's very credible, that you see des images very real for you. Do you react just to that, s'il te plaît? C'est très réaliste selon oui. toi ce que tu as vu. Oui. Quand tu vois le film, tu vois quoi Tu vois un film ou tu vois des images qui sont vraies dans ta tête, dans ton, dans ton, dans ton, dans ton, dans ton mémoire Alors le film pour moi c'est presque 100% réel. Il n'y a rien qui, est, qui a été mentionné dedans qui n'a pas été oui. fait. Or, que ce soit moi ou bien les autres, on peut le prouver. On a toutes les preuves comme quoi. On a vraiment vécu dedans, on a, on a, ça a été vraiment passé, il n'y a rien qui est ma sens dedans. C'est une histoire réelle. Même et si c'est une combinaison de trois histoires, toi oui. tu reconnais presque tout. Oui, parce que de toute façon on fait le même chemin. Ouais. Il n'y a pas de, de route pour arriver à, à Italie, donc on passe toujours le même désert, le même, même mer pour arriver. Il peut avoir, moi je peux avoir trop de difficultés par rapport à l'autre, l'autre il peut avoir un peu de difficultés, moins de difficultés ouais. que moi. Mais c'est toujours le même trajet. Matteo Garone, uh, you understood, of course, he says it's very uh, realistic, eh? even though uh, we combine the stories of different people, we all take the same uh, route. I wanted to ask you, you work uh, with this specific method of uh, telling them in the morning in Wolof, which is an oral language, of course, this is what we're going to do today. This is also kind of your play, your game with them to have them method acting because they don't know how it's gonna like to to do a kind of documentary technique in your movie no it's not about documentary is is uh it, them they are very you know sensitive they 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 act uh, always from feeling from inside not it's not uh cerebral the approach not not technical but it's more emotional So it was important to create the the base for make them experience the the scene, li live the scene, and emotionally. And sometimes they suffering also yeah. because uh, there was scene very very tough. And uh, they, for instance, there was a scene very tough in the desert when Seydou try to to save the woman. But, but he can't, and he starts to cry. And uh, uh, we, did, we did other take before. He never cried like that. And then the third take, he started to cry like this. And after, in the evening, he told me that uh, when he was shooting that scene, 
he saw the 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 father dead in his his arms because the the, fa the father dead in his arms. So in that moment he was not seeing her, but the the, mm -hmm. the dead father. So when I when I said stop, he he was uh, he 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 was uh, you know at the something that he was not just. Uh, acting he was leaving something and uh, um a feeling yeah and uh, and i have also a nice remember of the approach where i I'm, i loved i loved work with the african actor because they were also at the same time very naive very simple very um, uh, uh, light in a way so i remember once in the beginning when there, there is a sister a small sister that discovered that Seydou is preparing the bag to go away in the night. That scene, it was uh, starting from the Seydou that was taking, preparing the bag. And then I was waiting for the Maman, that was the name of the kid, the, the, the kid that's saying, where are you going? And then Seydou watching her and the camera moved to her. So I, I, I said, action, Seydou was doing this. And the, the line of Maman didn't arrive. So I turned and I discovered that Maman was sleeping. She, was, she felt asleep in the shoot. And it was fantastic. So she was so relaxed. So, so compared to actors in, in, in Europe, where I always say with dialogue coach, with parents, with agent, with. No, she was sleeping. <laughs> fantastic. So I said, Maman, Maman to wake up her, she opened the eyes and act and was perfect. Oh, wow. So the, the one you saw in the movie was the one that she was felt asleep and, yeah. and it was perfect. So this was the atmosphere where I worked. And I think the, the power of the movie is, is the, the um, interpretation so pure, so pure and authentic. That was uh, for me a uh, very uh, enormous ple pleasure to work with them and uh, to have this opportunity. I want to ask uh, a last question to the three of you uh, before maybe we have time to open up for the audience. Couple, we, not even one very small question from the audience. I'm going to go very quickly uh, to you. Uh, this movie, uh, not to talk about governments and politics, but there is a social climate we cannot ignore. There is public opinion in three of our countries, Belgium, Italy, um, Guinea. And yes, yeah. no, yes, but he lived in Italy and he lives now in Belgium. Um, in Italy, there is a debate. There is a debate in many European countries. You are uh, looking at human beings now, uh, not numbers. Uh, how do you, the three of you, you for uh, you, you are you are a uh, Liegeois maintenant. Eh? You live in Belgium. You are a Belgian too. You are an Italian. Um, what is the atmosphere, Matteo Garone? How do people and public opinion react in Italy to this? Um, we have politicians in the government now who talk about taxis on the sea, people doing cruises uh, while we see what they live. The, the response of the audience has been amazing in Italy. The audience, uh, uh, well, thanks to the important prize that we won in Venice for the, for the actor and, uh, and for me as director, then we had also the chance that the Pope, want, Pope Francis Pope, invite us in Vatican to to see to to project the movie, and also the the movie has been nominated for the Oscar for the Italian. So all these aspects create um, uh, um, how can I say in English help the movie to be close to the audience, mm. and uh, and the amount of work also work very well. And this, this movie is, uh, is uh, very transversal, popular. And now there is a lot of school that are asking in Italy for the movie. Mm. And I've been uh, talking with a lot of students and it's very interesting to, to talk with them because they, they have the same age of the main actor and, uh, and they discover something that most of them don't know and also the privilege, for instance, that they can travel and the other they have to risk their life, mm -hmm. for instance, or also discover that they are not numbered, but behind this person there is parents that are worried like them or desire, dreams that mm -hmm. are following. 
So I'm, that's, that's for me the most important things. Then about politics, I, I start to, to work on this project three years ago. There was not the right of the government, there was left. So it's not a movie that's grow. I'm not, I'm, I, have, I, I, I made this movie not for, uh, against a political uh, part or another. I made this movie because I thought that was uh, the possibility to to do to make something that uh, was uh, unknown for mm -hmm. the audience and from me. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to discover this hidden part of the journey. Okay. Pour Fano, tu connais la suite, hein? <laughs> Parce qu'à un certain moment, on, dans la vraie vie, tu arrives hein, en Sicile. Maintenant, comment ça va? Comment euh, ça va la vie? Euh, quel, est, quel a été ton suivi? en Belgique, en Italie, tout ça Alors, Italie, ce n'était pas facile. Arriver euh, au port directement en prison mmh. parce qu'ils avaient dit euh, « Io capitano ». Euh, juste ce mot, j'ai été en prison pendant deux mois et la sortie de prison, j'étais rejeté comme ça. Euh, ce n'était pas vraiment facile. Et aujourd'hui Même aujourd'hui, ce n'est pas toujours facile parce que je suis toujours dans le même système, on attend toujours avoir mes, mes documents pour voyager, pour faire des choses, c'est toujours dans la Depuis position. combien d'années Alors, ça fait quatre ans et demi que je suis en Belgique, je suis toujours en attente. Une dernière euh, remarque peut-être, hein, Joseph, après avoir, avoir entendu tout ça, quelle est selon toi euh, aussi là, on se fait en Belgique, en Italie, euh, parce que ce film ne, ne tombe pas dans le rien, je veux dire. Ben, évidemment, après ce que Fofana vient de dire, c'est un peu difficile d'ajouter quelque chose. Voilà, okay. lui, c'est ce qu'il vit. C'est ce qu'il vit aujourd'hui. Et voilà, et cette situation-là est la sienne et elle est celle de beaucoup d'autres. Et elle est révélatrice de comment l'Europe est capable, enfin, est incapable de gérer et d'accueillir ce, cette, cette situation. Et, et donc, ben, moi, moi ma, je, 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 votre question, on pourrait en parler pendant des heures. On n'a malheureusement je, je, pas la Voilà, je vais rester aussi dans ma position moi, de, 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 producteur, de, de coproducteur du film. Et, et je, je pense que ce qui est, ce est aujourd'hui important, c'est que le, le film rejoint son, son, son projet. Ce qui, mm -hmm. ce qui se passe avec le film rejoint son projet, qui était le projet de, de, de Matteo, d'aller chercher une audience qui, qui puisse entrer dans ce vécu-là, qui puisse faire comprendre... À une, à une large audience, ce vécu-là. Je pense que ça se passe, ça se passe en Italie. Ben, merci au Festival de Gand qui, qui nous a accueillis aujourd'hui et qui nous permet d'être présents, pas seulement ici, si j'ai bien compris, mais aussi dans dans d'autres salles ici en, en Flandre. Ce n'est que le début de la sortie belge. Euh, J'en profite pour me remercier mes partenaires euh, de Paradiso, qui sont les distributeurs du film pour le Benelux. Et euh, voilà. Et donc, ce qui va se passer avec le film, c'est pas, c'est par vous que ça va se passer. Si, si vous, si, si vous êtes entré dans la proposition du film, ben parlez-en, puisque le film il va, il va, il va arriver ici en Belgique. Euh... The 10 January next year, hein, the movie voilà, will be le... in the Belgium. Maybe Matteo, um, since it is your project, the last word is, uh, is thank you, Joseph. The of last course. word is for you. No, no, I mean, no, I just want to to tell that uh, for me. Uh, this movie is also teach how uh, a human being can remain human, like Sedu does, till the end. Also, if he have uh, to to be, uh, I don't know in English. For, it's my first yeah, time yeah. that I speak in English about the movie, so I, I don't have the word. <laughs> it's it's said. No, che, che lui mantiene la sua umanità nonostante, yeah, nonostante tutte le violenze e nonostante tutte le umiliazioni che, che subisce e lui riesce fino in fondo a rimanere umano questo Et penso sia la cosa più importante la, 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 la lezione più importante che, che ci insegna e questa è la belangrijkste les che si do uh, ons allemaal a noi occidentali grazie mille uh, thank you very much merci beaucoup <laughs> dank aan jullie allemaal geef ze nog eens un applaus
En als jullie de film mooi vonden, maak er reclame voor. Zeg dat jullie hem hebben gezien in Gent. En vanaf 10 januari stuur alle vrienden, kennissen, familieleden naar de bioscoop. Fijne avond allemaal.